So YouTube has updated how they're going to be giving out community guideline strikes. Took you long enough, guys. Jesus Christ. Worked alongside creators to understand what's working and what's not. You told us that clear policies, consistent enforcement, and transparency about what's happening to your channel are the most important things we can improve to make the strike system work better for you. So at least they're saying that they've actually been listening and learning from the shit that has gone on in the last multiple years. But the one thing that I can't wrap my head around is this. We know that most of the time creators don't break the rules intentionally and just want to get back to making great content. Ah, I see. So the reason that we're getting strikes is because we're knocking shit over. Logan Paul videos someone hanging in a forest? Doesn't get punished. Okay, thank you for making that clear. Yep. This explains quite a bit. So we're giving everybody a warning the very first time they post content that crosses the line with no penalty to their channel. This is to make sure everyone takes the time to learn about our community guidelines and understands what went wrong before they face more severe consequences. This actually is a change that I think makes a lot of sense. If you're new and you break the th guidelines, you shouldn't get one of the hard strikes. You should get something like this, which I feel like it should have a cooldown time, even though they say it doesn't. But it, it should, because... Um, not everyone's breaking the guidelines all the time, and yes, the normal strikes were set after 90 days, but they, at the least, they, it should be like a six-month or year-long cooldown, because it's if someone isn't breaking the guidelines consistently, or they just do it like very far and in between, like a year, couple years, couple months, or whatever, if it's not terrible, like uh, fucking... Plenty of the shit that we've seen go down over 2016, 17, 18, and starting this year, then it shouldn't exactly be as hefty. Finally, we're making the penalty for breaking the rules consistent wherever it happens. Like videos, thumbnails, live streams, or links to external websites. All community guideline strikes are treated consistently and will result in a temporary freeze on your ability to create new content on YouTube. Because if a live stream gets falsely flagged and you get striked for it, that should completely freeze you being able to upload videos. Doesn't that make a lot of sense, guys? Energy. 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 Energy.